I got five minutes to hear your idea. Then I gotta get back to these tables, and to the kitchen, and to finding Wesley's spoon when he drops it on the floor again. <laughs> Five minutes is all I need, Rhonda, because we're gonna solve your stress with an invention that will make your restaurant the best around. That would be a dream come true. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's ooze. Oh, thanks. I can see that. Ooze provides an entire day's nutrition in just one spoonful. So your customers don't have to waste time enjoying their meal. They'll be good to go in seconds. I just don't know if a food replacement is what our food restaurant huh? needs. I was hoping your idea was color-changing moo lights or something. Oh, well. Back to work. Oh, no, 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 We'll be here if you change your mind. I told you the world wasn't ready. The world is ready. Sadly, the people in the world are clods. I'm sorry you didn't sell your idea. Inventing seems tough. Ugh, totally. You have no idea. I bet. I was trying to think what I would invent for a restaurant, but the best I could come up with was little flying drones to bring food to the people. Dumb, huh? Hey. It's not dumb. It's just not inventor level good. Yeah, ideas need to be inspiring and bold. Nobody would buy that. Did I hear about drones bringing out food? Well, that's just what I need. <laughs> wow. Uh... What? Ah! Gonna help your company. What should we call it? Drone waiters? Hover friends? Angela came up with an invention? Are you letting us do that now? I've got one. TV, but it's magic. Stop it! Huh? We're not doing Angela's drone thing. We're going to finish huh? ooze and then sell it and make a fortune and change the world. Uh, were you guys in the same diner I was in? Cause I'm pretty sure Rhonda liked my invention more than yours. Yeah, just because Rhonda likes something doesn't mean it's good. And your idea isn't really an invention because drones already exist and waiters already exist. It's just putting two things together, like making a puppet out of a sock. Why are you being weird about me helping you? Uh, because we are the inventors. Look, Angela, you're great at so many other things. Really, really great. But this is our thing, you know? Oh, now that that's over. Should we see what movies are out, or...? You know what? You don't have to believe in my idea, because I believe in my idea. And if you're not gonna help huh? me do it, then I'll do it without help. Hmm? I need help. I can see that. Uh, maybe Tom and Ben are right. Maybe my idea isn't any good. I'm not a scientist inventor like they are. Angela, no. Your idea makes people's lives better. That's what science is all about. Huh. You really think this could be something? I think we should find out. I've been looking for a new project ever since my research at work was stolen by the time police. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can do this. We can be a kick butt tech company. Come on, Hank. Try the ooze. No way! That stuff looks bad! But this is new ooze with pepper. Mm -hmm. Come on, here comes the ooze train. Ooze, ooze. Tom, I'm not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like evil glue. It's so much worse than I thought it'd be. I can't get it off of my tongue. <laughs> well, add pepper to the list of things that don't make ooze good. Hmm. Why are you guys so sad? Is it because everybody says Angela's invention is good and you're worried she's better than you? Don't be ridiculous. So, Rhonda, your diner will use drones to serve people their food? The diner's never been so popular. And I've never been so relaxed. If it makes you feel better, I don't think ooze is terrible. I eat a whole bowl of it. It's almost like bad cookie dough, which is still cookie dough. Wait! You ate a whole bowl? You're only supposed to have a spoonful at a time. It's a full day's nutrition in each bite. Hey, on the bright side, you won't be hungry for four weeks. Ha! <laughs> Real funny, guys. But Ginger always has room for candy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
They said we couldn't do it, Xenon, but look at us now! To be fair, most people believed in us. The only ones who were against this idea are walking in right now. Hey, this place is packed. This is great. It's all because of you. What do you want? Are you here to explain science again? What? No. Oh, come on. Explain science. <laughs> Hilarious. No, um, we're actually here to apologize. Mm. Yes, mm. it pains me to say it, but your idea to help the diner was significantly better than ours. Well, thank you. It's big of you guys to know when you're beaten. And you are. <laughs> yeah, we know. You know, we should have all been working together on drones from the beginning. Yeah, I... Wait a minute. What do you mean by together? We can build on your great idea. Make the engine more efficient and maybe get quieter hovering <laughs> if... We don't need your help. We already have big plans for improving the drones without you. Yeah! <gasps> Wait, we do? Sure! We can make them faster and louder and more advanced! Hold on, Angela. Whoa! We have a lot of experience with this sort of thing. We can help you! No, they're our drones. Come on, Xenon. Let's show them what we can do. Ugh, can you believe those guys acting like we needed their help? Well, we'll show them. We don't need any help from anyone. You said it, Angela. But are you sure about all these changes? Some of them are pretty radical. I think the term you're looking for is kick butt. Let's do it! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the next phase of Winter Drone technology? They're faster, friendlier, and now you don't even need to order. They know what you want before you do. Xenon, oh. upgrade the drones. <gasps> okay. Whoa. Hello, Droney. Huh. This is just what I wanted. And I didn't even know I wanted it. Nicely done. This is amazing. You know, inventing is kind of easy. I don't know why so many of Tom and Ben's inventions turn into absolute disasters. Huh, maybe it's a talent oh. thing. We can't all have it. Oh. Well, could be. We are both very talented. Secret high five. <laughs> no! Huh? Stay away from me! Oh, I'm not hungry! I ate too much ooze at a full for four weeks. Why is that so hard to understand? No thanks, I've already been served. <laughs> We can only take so much failure. The dream is over. You'll have to get Xenon to shut them down. I tried that and she can't. You have to help me think of something. Wait, you want to work together? Like we should have from the start? Yeah, yeah. Look, we've all made mistakes, but right now we need solutions. Invention solutions. Maybe we knock them out of the sky with a thing, with something, with some sort of thing. It should probably be some kind of food, too, so the drones are attracted to it, right? That makes sense. Well, what food would be heavy and sticky enough to mess up anything it touched?
Well, at least we finally found a use for this stuff. And we all work together to destroy both of our inventions, but still, together! You were huh? supposed to make my life easier! What am I gonna do now? You know, being an inventor was fun, but I definitely like the part where people like my invention more than the part where we got in trouble. Eh, you get used to it. Races, Tom. Now that I can finally use tech again, I need to make an invention that's really big, and I just don't have it yet. How about cell phone underpants for style and convenience? No, nope. it has to be something that changes the world, that captures the imagination of the entire population. But what? <laughs> Thunderstorm! Fans, this weekend will be sunny with a touch of breeze, just the way I know you like it. Enjoy your outdoor sports, which definitely won't be canceled. That's a tip from Skip. Did Action Weatherman Skip Flipper lie to the children? No, Ginger, he didn't lie. But nobody can really predict the weather. It's a problem the whole world has to deal with. That's it! I know what to do for my big idea! News TV studio. Can we set the box down now? It is crazy heavy. No, it's too important. We have to bring my invention directly to Action Weatherman, Skip Flipper. <laughs> I'm Skip Flipper, weather's best friend and toughest critic. Let me guess, you want my autograph? Here, I'll sign your umbrellas. Actually, I'm here because you have a problem. You can't predict when the weather will be bad. <gasps> ben, I wouldn't have come if I knew you were going to pick a fight. Oh. It's true. That's the weatherman's burden. That canceled kite board race haunts my dreams. Well, how would you like your reports to be correct every single time? Behold, the weather o -matic. With this, you'll always know the weather, because the weather will always be perfect! Absurd. Wow, that is the greatest thing since the lightning rod. Your invention is going to make the world a better place for everyone. Yes, that's what I hoped you would say. Thanks to Ben's weather o -matic, this weekend will be nothing but sunny, sunny, sunny. Perfect for sports and drying radishes. Mr. Ben and this little gizmo here will have just enough rain to water the plants, and it's sun, 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 till the fun's all done. Blue skies, nice temperatures. The weather is perfect. Do you even need me to tell you? <laughs> Perfect again, like, like always. Hooray. We don't have to watch that boring old weather report anymore. <laughs> and it's all thanks to Ben. <laughs> when I get first place, I'm dedicating my trophy to you, Ben. Yeah, it's nice that we don't have to worry about weather stopping me from beating Ginger ever again. <laughs> Ben, you set out to make the world a better place, and you did it. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. Just that one super dark one that's coming right for us. Exactly! I... Wait, what? Everywhere. I don't know if I'm mad about the race, 
grossed out because a diaper fell on me or scared. Um, could this have anything to do with the weather o -matic? It can't be! My machine only has settings for nice weather! I know who can help us! Action News weatherman Skip Flipper! This town is under siege by weird, wild weather. We've got giant snow here and over at the carnival, screaming clouds! <laughs> Looks like Ben's weather o is out of control o -matic. Mm -hmm. My tech is ruining everything. Just like it always used to. I should have known this would happen. <laughs> don't worry, Ben. Nobody's gonna think this is your fault. I don't want to point fingers, but this is definitely Ben's fault. He's absolutely right. What was I thinking? I'm a fool. But let's not be too hard on Ben, because he's dealing with bad weather, too. Where he lives, it's raining upside down. <gasps> what? That's not true. There's no rain at all. Upside down or even regular side down. Hey, it's just like Skip said. That guy knows everything. Maybe too much everything. How did Skip know about that before it even happened? Because he's a better weatherman than I am an inventor. Something weird is going on. And it's not just that weird black and white rainbow. What? You say there's pea soup fog rolling over the chili factory? I'll tell everyone. Keep watching my weather reports. Action weatherman Skip Flipper. Huh? What's happening with the weather? <clears throat> oh, it's going bonkers, and I'm reporting it. Ben's invention has really made a mess, huh? Well, maybe. But I'd like to get a look at Ben's invention. I work with him, so if it's broken... Uh, I'm sorry, there's nothing to look at. It's gone. I uh, moved it. To where? Uh, very far away. I was trying to save the town. Oh, well, guess I'll just have to report on this crazy weather with everyone watching me. Speaking of which, I'm back on air in a few minutes, so... You broke Ben's machine. All right, you caught me, but I didn't break it. I made it better. Do you realize how bad constant nice weather is for a weatherman? Um, not as bad as diaper rain. It was boring. No one was watching my reports. But now, now everyone is watching my reports. And even better, they'll blame all of this on Ben. Hmm. Did we get all that? Yup. Thanks to nature's greatest invention, the TV camera. Skip. Your evil confession just went live to the whole town. And I'm uploading it to my favorite video site so people can watch it over and over again. You caught me. Oh, you caught me. Oh, you caught me. Oh, you caught me. Oh, you caught me. You're done, action weatherman Skip Flipper. Guys, let's take the weather romantic back to Ben so we can fix it. I used to live in a horrible, perfect weather paradise. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yes, yes, weather, weather, and I'm reporting on it. Action weatherman Skip Flipper. What have you done? I don't like it here! It's smelly and windy and not safe for kids! Well, hey, look! There's the machine! <laughs> if we can get to it, maybe we can shut it off.
Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be hit by something, make it take. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 yeah, Ben, you did it! Of course I did, Tom. Like I said, Ben is back, baby! I am glad there's no more weird weather. But do you still need to find your big new idea? Nope. I still have the weather romantic. But I made some changes. Changes? The world wasn't ready to always have nice weather. So I reset the machine to sometimes have nice weather. Action weatherman Skip Flipper reporting live from jail. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be sunny and, and drier than prison pot roast today. <laughs> oh, he's wrong again. Just the way it should be. Good job, Ben. Previously on Talking Thomas Friends. An army of zappers is destroying anything players make. Guys, I have a plan. I need your help applying to perform at the Uncomfortable Rocks Music Festival. I'm sorry, but this is urgent. But I need a song. I believe in you. Retreat to the top of the hill. <laughs> Those bad guys are lost in cyberspace now. Thanks, Tom! Ah, I heard that from the Uncomfortable Rocks Music Festival! Really? You got in? I sent them the best song I've ever written! Open it! Okay, let's see. Aww. Sorry, we only accept songs that are original, exciting, and world-changing. This is not. What? Ah! Oh, Angela, you can't let this rejection get to you like this. Nothing is getting to me. We're listening to my song again to prove it is actually original, exciting, and world-changing. <gasps> oh, I'm happy to help because I need 10 hours of good deeds to earn the Scout Boys Community Helper Badge. Okay, what do you think? Yes, we like good things. Mm. Good things. Good, good, good. Things are good. Oh, it's definitely catchy. Catchy. Okay, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's like the lyrics say, it's good. Well... What other words might describe it? I don't know, uh, words like world-changing? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> Oh. <sighs> Maybe the judges were right. I'm not original. Or exciting. Or, huh? Well, I don't know, Angela. When the song goes <laughs> that's pretty big and bold. That's not the song. It's a computer glitch. Huh? Ben's making it worse! Yeah, Ben, stop making it worse! <gasps> or is he making it better? Xenon, uh, we've been internet dating for a while now, and I think it's time to take the next big step. Xenon? Benbug? Will you? You don't mean... Mm. I'll fix my computer. Oh, Ben! Of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> we've got so much to plan. Should we try to reformat my boo? Oh, Ginger! Do any of you need help? I really want that!
that badge. Not now, all right? Angela's about to show off her new sound. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I haven't been this excited about music in weeks. Angel. Ginger, don't you know it's easier for someone to take criticism when it's paired with a compliment? Angela, that's a very nice shirt. And was that song a joke? Uh, it's definitely new, but I liked the good song a lot better. You know what? I don't care what anyone thinks. I am performing this at the Town Talent Show today because I believe in it. Oh, no. Uh -oh. And that's the <gasps> attitude that gets you into music festivals! <laughs> <laughs> that show's not gonna go well. Good thing we won't be there to witness the embarrassment, right? Right? Wrong. We have to stop her. Yeah! Fine. I'll come, but only if this counts for my community helper badge. Uh, regular computer fixing isn't showing us what's wrong here. Hmm. So, to get to the bottom of this, we'll have to enter... <laughs> the digital world! Ben, this is your problem. There's all this gunk all over the place. It's like a bachelor pad in here. What? That's not fair. I'm very tidy. It's fine. If we're gonna next level our relationship, there are things we have to get used to about each other. Seriously, I'm not a slob. I have no idea where this stuff came from. Oh, maybe from there. Angela posing as a doctor and tell her that she has a rare disease where you're not allowed to sing at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? What? Those are great plans, but just let me try talking to her first as a boyfriend. Ugh. Yeah. Angela, uh... Let me guess. You want to tell me not to do the new song, right? It, it, yeah, it's way too weird. I know it's weird. That's what I like about it. Really? But... Aren't you worried everyone else won't like that about it? Well, I don't care what everyone else thinks. I have to do this. For me. And if I just had your support, well, that would be enough. I'm sorry, Angela. You do your show, I'll be in the front row cheering you on. Really? I'm still your biggest fan. Thanks, Tom. You're a great boyfriend. Well, did she listen to reason? Or should I get my doctor voice ready? <clears throat> Nurse, I need ten... No, we're not stopping the show. Uh, Angela believes in it. And it's time for us to believe in her. Now get ready to cheer. Hey, hey, hey! Everybody, welcome to the Town Talent Show! We're gonna kick this off with someone you know and like. Give it up for Angela! A mega what? Come on, stop exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating! Look at this! <gasps> ben? Ben! I hope you're ready for something a little different. Yeah! I have to go. Cheer loud. There's doubt in my mind. Sorry, pardon me, excuse me. So sorry. What is this? Ew! Ah! What do you mean, boo? More like boo, yo!
Angela? Good show. Are you kidding? It was a disaster. Tom couldn't even sit through it. <sighs> I'm never going to be a singing star. There's no point in chasing an impossible dream. I'm quitting music. <gasps> what? No! I'll never sing again. What is going on? Do you remember when we were playing Square's Tech and we built a rocket to shoot the bad guys out of the game? Uh, yeah, I, I do, but what does that have to do with anything? That was a game. Ah! No! We blasted them out of the game and into my computer, and from there, they've been chewing a path out of the digital world entirely. W to where? Ah! To here, you fool! Now help me seal off the room before we're too late. Too 